And what's going on YouTube? This is Forever Brandon TV coming back to you guys with another video on the game and his new album 1992 guys which I have to give the game props because 1992 was the year that I was born so yeah shout out to him on that uh this album is amazing on a scale out of 1 to 10 I give this album a 9 because the game has really really been snapping these last past couple of albums he's been making if y'all remember I did his review on uh the documentary 2 and 2.5 well the 2 I didn't really do the 2.5 because the 2.5 wasn't really my favorite but the documentary 2 I did a review on last year guys which is one of my favorite albums but guys 1992 puts the icing on the cake it just describes about what he has been through in the years of growing up in the year 1992. Uh, he's he's from Compton, of course, as you all know. Dr. Dre signed him to the aftermath, and then he left, and then started his own record label. And you know, uh, then hey, the game blew up, and that's basically what the album speaks about. Uh, it just talks about him as uh, going through adolescence. It talks about a little bit about his his friends, childhood, his mom his dad you know he just talks about you know the struggle of Compton in 1992 Rodney King you know in 1992 it was a, a very 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 rough year for uh Los Angeles Compton you know it was just a lot going on in the year 92 and you know uh it was that that year you know it just it was a rough year but anyway guys it's one of my favorite eras of the 90s guys because the best movies was coming out the best music was coming out and again he really 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 just brings back memories you know even though i was even though i was born in that year throughout the earlier parts uh, i mean throughout the later parts of 90 of the 90s you know i grew up i grew up listening to so many good rap guys and this album brings an old school feel to hip-hop guys which he kind of does samples from marvin gay uh man he just does he he adds a, a a uh, sample from mystical uh it's amazing guys he just really did his thing so we finna do this one song by one song guys uh, i'm gonna do song by song and tell you guys what i thought about the album Savage Lifestyle just talks about how uh the the gangs and the crips or well, just gang bangers period uh how they were in the 90s you know how how savage Compton was back in them um, in 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 the, in the days in the 90 days and this is the song that actually had a sample from uh Marvin Gaye's um uh this ain't living uh oh, no 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 this ain't living Y'all know it's just he just he just part of old school and then he he was going in he had bars I gotta get a game that's props he snapped then it has like a three part it's like a three part song you know people starting to do their stuff three part songs and he I just think that he just really 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 put in a lot of work and uh, I I even like close to the end of the song because it had a more slower up tempo beat uh, and, and it, it, it was amazing uh, the girl who was singing and throughout the songs on this album I can't remember her name but. I really, really, really liked the song. I thought that this was probably one of my favorites of the album. Okay. Number two, True Colors is on. You know, the true colors of the Crips and the Bloods, the blue, the red. You know, it just stirred up a lot, a lot of trouble around that time. Um, as far as notes of the album, I would say, I think that uh, he sampled Ice T. If I'm trying to remember, because the beginning of the song, I think it had an iced tea um, sample. But anyway, the song was amazing. It had an old school flavor about it that I was really, really feeling. And I just think that that's probably another one of my favorite songs of the album uh, as well. The next song is Bompton, okay, which had a mystical uh, sample, which used to be one of my favorite songs by Mystical Guys. Um, amazing 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 but uh the song itself uh really really stood out as rap it had an old school flavor about it it kind of had a little uh easy e flavor a little ice cube flavor on there as well as number two but uh bompton is probably another one of my favorites that i really really was feeling on the album i gotta give the game as props uh fuck orange juice okay was this a one minute interlude or one minute song or what you call it um 
This actually had a sample from the, uh, the message of Grandmaster Flash. You know, don't push me because I'm close to... Y'all know. Y'all know. But anyway, this is probably another one of my favorites. You know, even though it was very, very short, you know, he just was, 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 was spitting his game and spitting stuff on here that, that was really, really dope. I got to get a game as props on that one. The Juice... Uh, 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 you got the juice now. Now, let me get into this. This was amazing, okay? This, uh, he talks a little bit more about his life. He talks about how he was shot five times. He talks about, uh, when he first signed to the Aftermath with Dr. Dre. He first talk, he talks about a little bit about his album. Uh, first album going platinum. Uh, five times platinum or something like that. Um, and the juice, uh, is just amazing. I even like the girl who was saying, you got the juice now. I don't know her name. Okay. But I really, really like her voice. It has a very uniqueness. Uh, the, the, the girl who was singing on it had a very uniqueness. The game was just spitting that fire with this song. The beat was amazing. This is probably just the gem of the album because he just really, really, really talks about his life and how he has progressed and, you know, the music industry and I I gotta give him his props for that. The next song is Young Niggas. He talks about a friend who he grew up with. Okay. And then they they sooner they they sooner or later don't cross paths. You know, they join different parts of the games. You know, one joins the Crip Run, joins the Blood, and then they they act as though they don't they went they didn't ever grew up in the same household or something like that. But basically this friend he's talking about, uh he basically live with the game and you know the game you know gave him you know a place to live well basically his mom his mother and his father gave him a place to live and you know they sooner as they grow older i guess they get into it or something like that and they don't they obviously aren't friends anymore but i really really like it i really really think that it's just uh, uh, uh he really probably cared about this friend that he's talking about. He doesn't really say who it is, but he talks about it, and it's just a, a memory of his that he shares. And I really, really like that. The The next song is the soundtrack. The soundtrack of the ghetto is The Chronic. Now, we all know that the, he is referring to Dr. Dre's Chronic probably on this, and that was probably an album that he grew up on, you know, coming up as a kid, uh, and, and, and hey, you gotta give Miss props with that, because The Chronic is probably one of my favorites, that, that album is just, his gem, that is Dr. Dre's gem album, you know, it's just one of those albums that just, that's just all time and very memorable, cut after cut after cut, and I believe that's the soundtrack of the game's life. Okay, you got to give him his props for that. I grew up on Wu-Tang. He just talks about how he grew up on Wu-Tang. And he talks a little bit about, you know, the women that he has dealt with. And uh, that's a cool song. Even though I think it's short, it makes you want to play it over and over again. got to give him his props for that. Amazing. You did that. However do you want it. However do you want it. I love how he sampled. However do you want it. However do you want it. I gotta give him his props because that is my jam. I love how he did that. That was dope. He really, really snapped with that. Baby you. Okay. Um, I believe uh he put I believe this is the song he has Jason Derulo on. Now, Jason Derulo was kind of sickening on this track. Because he kind of sounded a little bit like Usher on this song. Now, I have to give Jason Derulo his props. Because this, I believe, is the song that... Um, this is the song that he's basically saying he's still in love with Tiffany. Now, we all know that that's the mother of his children. Now, I, 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 I you know, I just, you know, you, you, you just... I believe that's the the woman that he's really really in love with. You know, he's the game. We've seen him. He has tried to find different, be with different people, but he is just madly in love with Tiffany. Okay, that's it. That's all. I really think that they should really 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 work their differences out because you know, even when even on uh, VH1's Marrying the Game, you know. It was just a lot going on on that show. But anyway, I really, really like this song. This is a dedication to her, I believe. You know, he talks about the um, the mother of his children, so which we all know. Even though his first son is from a different person, but we know Tiffany is the love of his life, basically. Uh, what's your life like? Uh, 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 for one, I even love that title because, uh, it's just amazing. The beat of it is amazing. Uh, it just, it just talks about the hardcore struggle of, 
um, the stuff that the gamers went through, um, you know, and even even his struggle when he was with uh, got signed to the aftermath uh, with Dr. Dre and how he has progressed uh, in the music industry as well. Uh, that's another song dedicated to Dr. Dre, I believe. 92 bars. He just basically went the entire fuck in on this. Okay. This song was just mad dope. Uh, the bars was on point. He just snapped. He had 92 bars, but basically he's saying 1992 been on, you know, as far as rap, you know, uh, around that time, and he just, he, he, he basically just literally just snapped on that. The last song is All Eyes, which is, I believe, was the first single of the album featuring Jeremiah, and that song was cool, uh, it had a nice party club, uh, beat on it, and it was cool, it was dope. Overall, this album was amazing, 9 out of 10, I have to give him his props. I love y'all for watching as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button, this is your boy Forever TV, Forever Brandon TV signing off, and I will talk to you guys later.